I wasn't too sure if I was going to be accepted in the Grant household. As when I turned up on the scene, I could tell I was a bit different. <laughs> I was one of them. I was a rugby boy. I didn't have a clue about Gaelic. So thank you very much for raising your daughter to be such a caring, thoughtful and kind person. I know that you mean the world to her and always have supported her in any decision she has made. I know that she has made you proud throughout her many achievements and I'm certain that she'll continue to do so. <laughs> so on to the main part of my speech now. It's dedicated to the lady sat right beside me here, the love of my life and now my wife. And I'm sure you will agree that Claire Louise looks absolutely beautiful today. You may be the happiest man alive when I finally popped the question to you on the 17th of February last year, after only nine short years <laughs> of being together. So all I'll say is I did warn you that I take my time with the important things. There are so many things that I love about you. You are so thoughtful and caring. You always put others' needs ahead of your own, especially if it's pickles. You brighten up any room with your smile. You have a questionable taste in music, but Westlife have definitely grown on me. <laughs> You're such a driven person and can complete anything you put your mind to as you always back yourself. You're pretty and smart. You're my best friend and manage to be as weird as me sometimes. <laughs> I can't wait to grow old with you and go on so many more adventures, whether it's traveling the world or even just heading to B&M for a wee explore. <laughs> I truly do consider myself to be such a lucky man, to be able to be married to such a wonderful woman. You make me better in every way, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Could everyone please stand and raise their glass to Claire Louise, my stunning wife. 